What's good, car family? Happy Saturday. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope I hope everyone is having uh, a good weekend and getting ready for Christmas. Um, I know I'm excited and I'm ready. So uh, today, gonna do a little different video. It's gonna be a long one. Gonna talk about my my Dak Prescott collection and super collecting and how I do it. You don't have to do it, but just wanted to share. So. And, and, and kind of why super collecting is can be unique and fun too. Um, so first of all, you know, everybody knows I collect, uh, I, I super collect Emmett Smith got like, I don't know, pushing 1200 Emmett's, but man, I got a lot of other collections, you know, players that I collect, collect pretty diligently and being in this group, you know, people are always sending you cards and it, 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 it's a natural way to just progress your individual player PCs. So I started counting my DAX, started keeping up with them and, you know, want to track it. And, uh, so here's what, here's the way I do it. First of all, I've got a binder and right now I've got one just for DAC and Zeke. So in the binder, what I do is I do it by year and there's no rookies in here so it starts with 2017 and the binder is mostly base um, there are some inserts in here that that kind of in my opinion are not top worthy uh, top loader worthy and like there's the end of 17 right and I, and I want to get some little tabs to put you know like on this first page that basically tells me that like that's where 17 begins and then this is where 18 begins because at the very least I want to keep them organized by year in the binder um so again it's mostly base there there is like I say some inserts just things that aren't top worthy top loader worthy there some of these might be doubles um because I might have a couple of these inserts doubled or uh, top loaded and I just decided I wanted one in a binder too. This, this just gives me a really good way to track my collection. Um, and what I do, you know, if a card doesn't make it into a top loader and it doesn't make it into the binder, which would mean in some cases that it's not a double but a triple, then it goes into a box. And this is my last page of Dax. And then the Zeke start right here. So... At that point, it goes into a box where it's penny sleeved, and that becomes cards that I can give away, cards that I can sell, cards that I'm I'm comfortable letting go. So that's the binder, and just to kind of play off of the binder, um, let me show you this. Hold on here, it's a lot going on. Yeah. So there's a spreadsheet. And there's a lot of the 2017 stuff's in the binder. I noted it there if it's in the binder. But, you know, the cool thing is when somebody just sends you a base card, you know, and it goes into your binder, you know, you, you get to add it to, this, to the spreadsheet. You add it to the binder. And it makes just, you know, a base card, just a, a card that wouldn't really be a big deal. It You kind of document it hitting your collection, you know, and... I didn't always do this, but as r recently, I've been tracking like like how I got the card. Um, let's see if I can find one that somebody, like there's some right there, Cool Toads. I got those cards from Cool Toads, and ones that I remembered when I made this document, I, I said who got them for me, but as I go forward, I'm sure 2020, as I go forward, you know, I put where I got it. Cody B, Snods, eBay, Snods, Snods. That way, one day, when I look back at this collection, I'm like, man, all these guys helped me build this collection. All right, so now uh, we're going to move to the, to, the, to the box. All right, so there's what my box looks like. Um... I got that idea from Antonio, so you gotta have yourself one of these. And, th and this, this just clean labeling, 
when you've got all your boxes stacked in a in a shelf or however you store them just that clean labeling on them um it looks good and it, it's a easy way to hey i need my dak prescott box i need my ezekiel elliott box i i need my emmett box and as the collection goes grows i'll start putting years on here you know like this is uh 2016 or this is 2016 through 2017 whatever it may be so then you open the box on the left side you've got all the stuff that i deemed one touch worthy and on the right side it's by year 2016 i need to get some taller dividers for this box uh, i have them for my you see i got one in the back with the height but most of them are short there's my 17 uh, let's see, 18, 19 picks up somewhere in there, and then 2020. So I'm going to run through this box um, and, and just show my DAC collection. Um, I'm going to turn the box like this. Some of it I'll be able to move really fast through, and some of it maybe I'll slow down. And some cards I might be able to speak to as to where and how I got them. All right, so I got the box on the side over here, and we will start with 2016. Let me get my spreadsheet open, see if there's any of these I want to speak to individually. Start with a plates and patches at a 75. So my document tells me that I got that one from Antonio Colazzo. And pretty cool card, right? Got that from Jack Frost. That's the uh, the silver Donruss Optic. I've got several base Donruss Optic. The Rookies, um, I pulled that in a hobby box. I did buy one hobby box of 16 Optic. These go for like 15 or 20 bucks now, just a base rated rookie. One of his first rookie cards that I ever had when I was buying these, the, 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 the three packs of Prism draft picks. And then there's the hollow. Uh, prestige. That's the red press proof. And then some base prestige. And then of course the passport. All these 2016s are rookies. So my 2016 DAX, um, any rookies, I top load. Doubles, triples, whatever. I top load them. Uh, this is uh, Panini, one of my first products that I fell in love with. The Chivalry, those are out of $1.99. And then some base Panini. Probably got a lot of these from random YouTubers. People sending me these back in the day. Don't get a lot of them these days, but cool cards nonetheless. The classics. Uh, this is uh, the Cyber Monday. Uh, this is out of $4.99, and that's the Black Friday rookie. Got a couple of these Panini Instant cards. Um, these are cool. You can never add them to your collection for your player. And they're they're out of uh, that one's out of $1.99, and this one is out of $160. Rookies and stars. A few of those. Rookie uh, out of contenders, rookie of the year insert, a couple of those. Contenders school colors, a couple of those. Game day, a couple of those. Let's see. The passing grades, score rookie. Premium Portrait at a hit. I got that one from Jeremy. And then you get into your kind of low-end hit rookies. Still top-loaded them. Leaf. Leaf Draft. And then this. Um, so this is one of the favorite things, one of my favorite things in my collection. And this set was from, believe it or not, a guy we haven't seen in a while. But JMVP sent me this, and it is a, what, 17-card set. Um, what it is is that 16 Panini, they had predictor cards 
in this set. And you could pull like a predictor MVP, predictor offensive player of the year, predictor offensive rookie of the year. And he pulled the wild card, which meant if, if they didn't make a card, whoever won the award from that year, you would win the set. So he pulled the wild card. Dak won the award. So he got the set and sent it to me, which was super, super cool. So, so I'll just run you through the set real quick. They go by week. So this is like the first one is offensive player of the year right here. And then it's week one and it breaks down his game in week one. Then week two, week three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Am I right? Am I still on pace? Oh, now I'm on week 15. I don't know how I got off track there. but 16, week 17, and then the last card, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Um, really cool set. I, I haven't looked at it lately to see like what the value of this thing is. I'd love to send all of these off and get the whole set graded, but um, it'd be a little costly, and I don't I seriously doubt I would get all tens, so be a little risky too. But that's my 16 stuff that's top loaded. We'll move to 17. This is taking me. I started back collecting in 20. Winter of 2016, so it's taken me about 17, 18, 19, about four years to to get my collection to this point. So this is 17 stuff. Uh, plates and patches. Uh, the prism. I don't know what you call that. Man, hang on a second. All right, here we go having issues with cards sliding over in my box and those are plates and patches out of 99 uh, I can't remember what that's called they're out of 149 I pulled this one in a blaster the disco the red white and blue the prism the silver I guess out of 100 out of absolute 199 out of Phoenix I'm sorry, that's not Phoenix. That's uh, XR. XR. Here's your Phoenix. And that's out of 199. 299. Blue Optic. Out of 149. Silver Throwback. Uh, Donruss Blue Press Proof. The Black. Out of Optic Press Proof. I think those are out of 25. Yeah, 14 out of 25. I know I pulled that one in a hobby box. Uh... Out of 199, that's one that probably needs to go in my binder right there. At some point, I thought it was top loader worthy, but kind of needs to rotate to the binder at this point. Uh, this one's out of 499. That's Panini Father's Day. Always trying to pick odd stuff up like that. Limitless out of limited, a little little patch there. Player worn. That one's out of 125. Rookies and stars, NFL authentic. Probably pulled that in a snod's break. Illumination. That prism. I always top load limited and thicker stuff. Because kind of won't fit in a binder. So there's a limited. I got a lot of these. Um, the illusions I top load. Because they're a little thicker. They'll fit in a binder. I probably should stick that in a binder. Uh, select. Silver. I think I got a lot of these from Toad's. I think that probably needs to go in a binder. It's just a base. Base. Uh, out of 99. All these different variants and select. Certified cuts. I think this one came out when Snods did that break in Cleveland. I think I pulled that in the room in Cleveland. I could be wrong, but think that's where that one came from stargazing playoff uh thunder and lightning again those are like low-end inserts 
probably need to stick those in a binder as well as that. Classics Orange, Dominator. These are cool. Peak Performance and Elite Coverage. Little dual piece there. Player worn. That's the 17 stuff. Got your 18 here. A little Craftsman out of Elite. Primary Colors. That one's out of 75. Out of 99. Elite. A couple of these late game Heroics. The Shimmer and I guess that one's just the base. Uh, certified Seal of Approval out of 50. And then I guess that one's the base. Prism. 275 prism die cut 249 uh, what's this panini day I think black friday it's base 99 XR 299 XR always love these air command cards I think I got one of those in my binder too um, why is this in here I think because I was working on a rainbow with this one, or thought I was, or this doesn't need to be in here, just a base optic. This is, yeah, this I started working on this rainbow, which I do this a lot and kind of die off. And I tell you, this stuff is, there's a base, 2018, the green, the red, uh, out of 100. This stuff is more expensive now than it was you know a year ago year and a half ago out of 75 to die cut i think i pulled that one i think i pulled that one in a freaking retail pack 10 out of 10 black elite series and hype yeah I used to, you know, I'd hunt around on eBay for these Donruss numbered stuff, and it's getting harder and harder because people are just getting prouder and prouder of that stuff, price-wise. Uh, signal Callers insert out of score. Elite out of 299. We're in 2019 stuff now. Aspirations out of 96. I don't remember who, but I know, you know, a lot of these were given to me. Legacy, the silver, I guess those are. Craftsman, out of Elite. Like, I never opened any Elite. Luminance, 2019. I call that the guitar pick swatch. Elite Series, Don Russ. Thrill of Victory, Unparalleled. Don Russ Blue couple of yellows uh, Donruss Optic Purple that one's out of 50 Donruss Silver Press Proof out of 100 and that's the variant and then the Die Cut Silver out of 75 variant Red Variant Illusions Astounding, the Acetate insert. Got a Origins out of 299. I like Stevie Nicks, but man, that song was depressing me. A QB Vision. Primary Colors out of Elite. You see, some of these are just inserts, you know, but I still top load them and some need to make it to the binder. Bowl Ticket out of 99. Select, I guess that's like the tricolor. No telling if I bought it or pulled it out of 99. I love, love, love score gold zone. That one's out of 50. Prism draft picks, the pink shimmer. Never went after many of those for DAC. I picked this one up a few weeks ago for like two bucks, and it's one out of 10 playoff, fourth down. Really like that one. 
The one-two punch, Dak and Zeke, shimmer. We'll move to 2020 and we'll do the uh, one-touch stuff and be done with this one. And I really encourage people to make a spreadsheet, man, because a Google spreadsheet, because that junk is shareable and Colazo, man, make a spreadsheet, dude. Like, so I can look and see what you have. I could send so much more stuff to people if I if I know what they have. Uh, this this came out of a Snod's break, I think, an aqueous test. What is this? Twenty twenty. I don't remember breaking any twenty twenty Don Russ with Snod's, but I probably did. Silver, I know I did. Yeah, silver out of a hundred because I pulled this purple with snods out of 600 dominators uh, prism draft picks out of 249 somebody sent me this limited mosaic silver just recently got most of these these this is gorgeous this team summit Dak Zeke and Amari. I probably need to one touch this card. This Zenith is such cool stuff. This came from Snods. Uh, this Will to Win. Really like that. Phoenix out of 199. That was from a Snods break, too. Purchase this. That's out of 35. I don't know if it's a purple or a blue, but man, I love that one. And then the flamethrowers, another one from Snods. All right, let's move into the one touch stuff. I know people are probably bored, but man, you collect something like this for so long and it just sits in, it sits in a box. <laughs> and I mean, you got to share it at some point, right? Like show somebody this stuff. Uh, we'll start with the autos. So the 16 encased out of 10, this is the one that I bought as a an 8.5 and I cracked it and uh, one touched it. One of my favorite cards. I just love that encased stuff, man. And all my stuff, you know, one, you know, if I one touch stuff, it's it's one touched and the uh, perfect fit team bag. So to me, that's the way to go. It's it's tight, you know, it's. It's it's the perfect fit is the way to go. Um, this one, Christian Cortez, out of ninety nine, Clear Vision, RPA, cool card. Got a really good deal on that from Christian. This was the first Dak rookie auto I ever bought. This was actually the first card I ever spent more than hundred bucks on. Uh, Sixteen Spectra RPA uncirculated. Uh, it was a sticker. This was before I, this was before I knew as much about cards. And this one's out of 199. And I, you know, I don't really buy, do a lot of sticker autos now unless I just really love the card. And like I thought, Spectral was the end all be all at the time. And I still love Spectral, but I would not have done a sticker auto if I do, had to do that over again. And this one is. Is that I was at a point where I just wanted a DAC on card auto. So this is out of Origins 2018, and it's a 2017 National Treasures, uh, Material Treasures out of 25. And of course, it's the on card auto, is, is the biggest reason why I bought that. Love some plates and patches. That's out of 25, DAC rookie. Not the easiest cards to find. I uh, got some Donruss Optic here. This one, the pink, I bought it, I think, at a card shop. I, honestly, I don't remember. This purple one I got from uh, Mike, Bronx Bombers. I bought it from him. These are going for a little bit of money now, 30, 40 bucks. Uh, these are super pricey now. Prism rookie, of course, the silver prism. Um, I don't think I don't know if these come in non-silver. Somebody have to tell me. 
I'm pretty sure I got this one. Let me check my spreadsheet. Pretty sure. I got this one. I didn't label it, but I think Jack sent me this. Somebody, maybe it wasn't Jack, because somebody recently sent me this. Maybe Caesar. I could go back and watch videos to figure all these out, but I mean, this is an expensive card, and uh, I didn't buy it. Somebody, somebody sent that to me. I love, you know, just numbered rookies. Um, this is Prestige Extra Points, the purple. That one's out of 100. I'm constantly on a chase for things like this. And again, you know, who knows if Dak even plays another game for the Cowboys. But back when I bought this, much more affordable than what it is now. Uh, Bronx Bombers got me this. Um, I believe we were in Cleveland at uh, the National, walks up to me and hands me that, and I didn't realize what it was at the time. I thought it was a 17, but yeah, that's a that's a 16 select rookie, and um, the tricolor, and um, those go for a little bit too. Um, this one here is uh, Madden Crazy inspired. Um, Madden Crazy and Colazzo. So Colazzo turned me on to the select fireworks. Bobby sent me a Zeke fireworks and I wanted the DAC to go with it. So you see, it's got that beautiful patch in there. Um, I'm, and I'm sorry, they're not called fireworks. They're called sparks select sparks. And, uh, this one's out of 99. Just, a, they were just, Hmm. Cherish this collection. So that's why I'm taking my time and, and sharing it. I love 16 Prism draft picks, and I love all the different parallels. I really love the red, white, and blue, but I like the camo, too. The red, white, and not the red, white, and blue. The uh, tie-dye and the camo are my favorite uh, co variations in 16 Prism draft picks. That one's out of 199 Shining uh, the chainmail armor out of 16 uh, Panini. Oh, those are cool. I think I paid like five bucks for that. If that. Maybe they're not worth any more than that. Got a couple of these. Um, the Clear Vision Base Rookies. One out of nine, They're both out of $9.99. One of these I got from Adam Ha. Um, again, the gold scores. This is score gold zone. Dak Rookie out of 50. I just love them. 35 out of 50. This one, um, a guy, his last, Trevor Mendoza. I don't know if anybody remembers Trevor Mendoza. I believe who has sent me this. Pink Prism jersey. Um, sent me a, sent me a, he just sent me a random care package and this was in there and Super cool, right? And, you know, I don't even think he makes videos anymore. And I think he went to school. Um, if anybody knows what's up with Trevor Mendoza, if you've made it this far. Pink optic rookie jersey piece. Um, that one I bought from my LCS, which is no longer in business. This one came from... Let me see if I've got this one on the spreadsheet, who it came from. Immaculate 2016 Immaculate numbers. I don't. I want to say Caesar. Could be wrong. I might have to go back and watch some videos and fill out. It's out of 50. And fill out, you know, where I got some of these bigger bangers like this. I mean, incredible that somebody would send this. That's the thing, man. These... These sleeves, like, I don't mess my top loaders up. They keep everything nice and neat and wipe my fingerprints off. Limited threads, 2016. It's a rookie out of 125. 
Pretty sure that one I bought at my LCS. I'm almost 100% that Caesar sent me this. Out of 199, a black gold medallion. It's got the Mississippi State medallion in there. How cool is that? Um, this one, I had a guy, this is back when I first started, and guy messaged me and he said, hey, I won a lot of, um, he had gotten into a Raz, um, a Spectra Raz, and he's like, asked me that I want to buy the entire lot, and I bought the lot from him for 40 bucks, and it was like 10 cards, you know, it was like, he won a Raz for a box of Spectra, so maybe more than 10 cards, but this was definitely the best card in there, there's a few autos, but um, I remember looking this card up at the time, and it was going for like 25 bucks. This is 17 triple threats out of 10, 10 out of 10. And um, it was cool because I could go back in my emails and find the guy and who he was, but he just knew I was a Cowboys collector. We didn't know each other. I couldn't tell you who he was now. And uh, he had told me he won a Raz. And I remember saying, what's a Raz? I didn't, I didn't know what a Raz was. So, again, it's back when I first started. This one here is cool, too. Uh, this one's out of 25, Rookie of the Year. What happened here is I went into my LCS on my birthday uh, in 2017, and I bought, uh, and my birthday was Thanksgiving. So it was, I guess they were doing Black Friday, the day after my birthday. And um, I bought a box of Phoenix, and it came with, what is this? A Panini Day. It came with a pack of Panini Day, and it was Two cards in there, a base card, and the, the, the guy in the shop said, hey, I'm going to give you the thick pack. He gave me the thick pack, and I pulled that out of 25. Pretty cool, man, to remember all those stories, and um, that's why I really miss my LCS. Got this one from my LCS, too, out of 49, gold standard. That was the cool thing about my LCS. I could walk in, chit-chat with the guys, and he'd be like, man look at this, and he'd hand me this card, and he'd be like, they knew who I collected, and what I would want, you know, and like, at the time, I think I paid, I don't know, 18 bucks for this, I'm curious, I don't know what it's worth now, but, seems like probably more, this one, uh, W. Voggs sent me, probably about a month ago, uh, gold standard, I think this is, 18 gold standard, white gold insert, out of 49, of course, that made it to a one-touch. Beautiful, man. I appreciate that. Um, National Treasures, Century Treasures out of 49. Bought this one a few months ago. I think, yeah, the reason I bought it was game used. I wanted me a good little game used piece. It was like 15 bucks. Can't beat it. National Treasures, dual patch, game used for $15. Sometimes I have to make a decision... When I have dual cards, which box, you know, whose collection I, do I want it to hit the Zeke or the Dak? And for this one, I decided Dak, um, NFL gear combo at a 99, Dak and Zeke. And I think, again, that is game used. I bought this the same time that I bought um, the Century Materials card. Um, let's see. This one... Again, here's a, a national, uh, another, nat, you know, like memories, okay? So this card, um, this is, you got the pack, you could get the packs at the national, but this was from Chicago. And um, Bronx Bombers, Mike, bought some packs of those national packs. He opened it up, opened some up, and he pulled this, and he gave it to me. Uh, it's out of 50. Super cool card, right? And the great thing about it. Closed material material was used during Prescott's game on 9-9-18, which I looked that up and that was the Panthers game that year. They lost. But um I thought that was super cool. And I ended up talking to Corner Kick, Corner Kick Lucas. He had the base of the same card, game used, same game. So I got the base from Corner Kick. And that's not numbered. But still, pretty cool, right? And every card, you know, has a story, if you can remember. And last, this is the last card in the box.
the Star Factor insert out of 2019 Unparalleled. Definitely pulled that in a snods break. You start looking back at all these cards you pulled with snods or alloy or whoever you break with and you start to realize some, it seems like I'm in so many breaks and I don't pull anything or pull anything super valuable. But when you look through your collection, so many of your cards came from breaks that, you know, you start realizing the, the value of consistently being in, in breaks. So that's it. That's my DAC collection. That's how I do it. Won't be long before I move to another box for DAC. Um, anybody that made it this long in this video, I appreciate it, but I'm going to start doing this more, you know, to archive more than anything, uh, just my collection and where it is now. Uh, currently DAC 254 is my total DAC Prescott's. So definitely a super collector status and, you know, any new ones I get, be they base autos, whatever, They'll hit the counter going forward and 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 I'll be able to like put all my spreadsheet where I got them. And one day when I make a video a couple years from now, look at my DAC collection. I'll know where I got everything. So anyhow, appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. Uh, y'all keep it real. Have a good weekend. I'm out.